Spain has placed an order for 20 latest generation Eurofighter jets to replace the older fleet of F-18 fighters operated by the Spanish Air Force on the Canary Islands. The new order of Eurofighter jets is valued at 2.4 billion euros. The first delivery of the new Eurofighter jet is expected to arrive in 2026. Signed at the Berlin Air Show, the acquisition will expand the Spanish Air Force's Eurofighter fleet to 89 aircraft and allow it to phase its older F-18 CD Hornet jets out of service. Unlike Eurofighters previously acquired by European countries, the aircraft set to be built for Spanish service will integrate the Captor E Active Electronically Scanned Array ESA, radar which provides a very significant improvement over the sensor suites of older variants. Although ESA radars have been in use since 2000 in the US Air Force, with the first serial production fighter to integrate them as its standard sensor being the Japanese F-2 in 2002, it remains a relatively new technology for fighters in Europe and Russia which remain behind the United States and East Asian aviation powers in the field. At just $108 million per aircraft, the price of the Eurofighters ordered by Spain was particularly notable when compared to those with the same sensor suite and similar avionics sold to Kuwait. The prior contract cost the Kuwaiti Defense Ministry $321 million each per aircraft, essentially three times as much. This was despite Kuwait ordering a slightly larger quantity 28 aircraft, which were by some estimates the most expensive fighters ever exported. The price of the Kuwaiti Eurofighters caused significant controversy in the country's parliament, particularly when their cost was compared to the heavier and in many ways more capable F-18EF Super Hornet fighters acquired from the United States in parallel which were considerably cheaper. This additional order reinforces Spain's commitment, not only towards the Eurofighter, but also to its development and industrial environment. I would like to thank the customer for its firm position with respect to European defense at a time when it is needed most, said Mike Scholhorn, CEO of Airbus Defense and Space. In November 2020, the government of Spain dismissed rumors that both the Spanish Air Force and Navy were respectively considering the F-35A and the F-35B to replace the aging F-A-18 Hornets of the former and the antique Av-8 Harrier II of the latter, operating from the Juan Carlos I aircraft carrier. The Eurofighter has been in production for close to 25 years, and new airframes are expected to be built in Britain which alongside Spain, Germany, and Italy was one of the four partner countries in the program. The Eurofighter was initially part of the same program as the better known and more widely exported French Rafale fighter, before France moved to develop its own aircraft separately and has struggled on export markets for a number of reasons. While the Rafale's engines are the weakest of any fighter in the world in production today, giving the Eurofighter advantages in maneuverability and climb rate, the pan-European jet suffers from a lack of comparable electronic warfare capabilities, higher operational costs and a significantly shorter range. Perhaps its most notably shortcoming, however, has been its continued reliance on a mechanically scanned array radar making it the last major fighter program in the world to do so, with Soviet fighters since the early 1980s and American ones since the 2000s having used electronically scanned phased array radars. The Rafale entered service in 2001 using a passive electronically scanned array radar, with variants entering service from 2013 using ESA radars, leaving the Eurofighter program very far behind, and only moving past mechanically scanned array radars in 2020 with construction of captor E-equipped jets for Kuwait.
Eurofighters built before then were criticized for the susceptibility of their sensors to jamming and their limited situational awareness and electronic warfare options. According to Eurofighter Typhoon website news release, the Halken Agreement, announced at the Isla Air Show in Berlin, will see Spain receive 16 single-seater and four twin-seater fighters equipped with electronic, e-scan, radar which will replace part of the legacy F-18 fleet. It will increase the Spanish Eurofighter fleet to 90 aircraft. The aircraft, as with those in the German Quadriga program signed in 2020, will also be equipped with future-proofed hardware, software, and an even broader multi-role capability for engaging air and ground targets. The Halkin contract was signed at a special ceremony at Isla by Miguel Angel Martin Perez, General Manager Netma, Carlo Mancusi, Chief Executive Officer, Eurofighter GmbH, and Gerhard Baer, CEO Eurojet Turbo GmbH. The signing was attended by senior military, industry, and diplomatic dignitaries from the Eurofighter Corps nations. These new 20 Typhoons and 48 new EJ-200 engines for Spain demonstrate that this weapon system is still operationally relevant for our air forces, an excellent option for core nations and any potential export country. Complementarily with other emerging European fighter programs, Eurofighter and EJ-200 engine offer a proven, modern, and reliable capability with potential for future growth based on an experience of more than 35 years. Today's announcement is great news for many reasons, particularly though because it signals the continued commitment to the future of Eurofighter Typhoon from one of the four core partner nations. The order also highlights the current and future strength of the program, which will ensure Eurofighter continues as the backbone of European air defense for many years to come, as well as representing welcome support for the European aerospace industry. The first Halkin aircraft will be delivered in 2026, and the new aircraft will secure industrial activity until 2030. With a service life well beyond 2060, the Eurofighter Typhoon's technical capabilities will allow full integration into the Europe's future air combat environment. Eurofighter is Europe's largest defense program, in which Germany, the United Kingdom Italy and Spain are the core European partners. In addition to technological capabilities, the program secures more than 100,000 jobs in 400 companies Europe. At present, 680 Eurofighter aircraft have been sold to nine nations around the globe, 